And hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to continue our discussion of the K-Epsilon model. And actually the K-Omega model. Um, and how that relates to the K-Epsilon model and what are the key differences between them. Uh, we discussed in our last uh, last video. Yeah, we discussed in our last video that uh, the, K, the K part of the equations is pretty much the same. So you see this is the diffusion term. This is the destruction term, and then this is the production term of k uh, of uh, the kinetic energy, and well, I mean the the way we write them is kind of different in in um, this uh, uh, k epsilon model here. We use this uh, term uh, mu t divided by rho. Okay, then you have the s squared, where s s squared equals to two s i j s i j. Uh, this is the rate of strain tensor. I think uh, discussed it before. I kind of expanded the whole thing out, but I don't want to do it again. So this video, we want to talk more about uh, the yeah. Yeah, I this video I want to talk more about the uh, models, um, specifically uh, regards to the omega model, the epsilon uh, transport equation, and how that translates to the omega equation. So yeah, I'm not gonna do a, I'm not gonna do an extensive proof of this this part I'm highlighting. So that, um, you just assume they're the same. Uh, I'll just take it from me that they're the same, because uh, that's what uh, a lot of the textbooks will say. Um, yeah, so now let's move on, move on to compare the epsilon and omega transport equations. So I will first want to write all of this down, or at least get it from the top. Okay, uh, where did I put that? I have to go all the way up here. Okay, so again, I want to condense all of this, all right? Using a Einstein, Einstein notation. So this, I want to condense it into, all right, u i x i or u j x j. All right, so this is uh, this part. All right, uh, this one I want to condense into the ujxj over here. All right, uh, this one. Okay, j uh, and j. So this is uh, Einstein notation again. I'm not going to repeat too much. Okay, and I will have this uh, new here. And yes, once I have that, we can start moving on to the next steps of comparison. And especially this one. Remember this this one we had a very funny definition of omega. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so we can start. Uh, Take a look at this first. Oh yes, yes. One more thing. Um, you note that uh, over here, uh, this sigma k here from the k epsilon, um, this is kind of slightly different from the sigma k here because here they use a sigma star. Okay, there's a sigma star here. All right, there's a sigma star here, which is uh, has a value of one one half here. It, again, it's not exactly the same as this. Uh, K epsilon model because sigma k if if this is uh, the same as this sigma star, I mean it, if it has the same uh, physical effect, then uh, sigma k should be equals to two. But here it's equal to one, and here it's equals to half. So I mean go figure. But uh, these are empirical constants, so don't don't uh, don't think too hard on them. But uh, yeah. If, if I were to make them equal, and I were to make all the rest of the constants equal, 
uh, such that they are the same, then yeah, it's um, they are very similar models. But okay, anyway, let's get back to this. Okay, so uh, we shortened our equation, right? This this equation, and we see the epsilon bit here. It uses this uh, sigma again, all right. But in terms of physical meaning, uh, we we can't really compare this and this just yet. We need to make some substitutions, right? So we need to make some substitu substitutions. All right. So what substitutions are there? Remember, omega is equivalent to uh, epsilon divided by k. Oh. So this is re just a recalling. Okay, omega equals to epsilon over k. This is the textbook definition. So we'll do it the textbook way. We won't do it the omega star way. This one is the omega star. Uh, I call it omega star because it's just to differentiate it from the textbook. Okay. And okay, let's let's do let's do uh, some substitution. So uh, epsilon equals to k omega so I'll just substitute all of these in here okay I'll do this all right one here one here one here and one here that should get rid of all the epsilon equations so uh, of course this will just reduce to omega i mean it's convenient for us um this one well we'll have to do term by term so we'll have a k partial omega partial t plus omega partial k partial t all right and likewise for this okay now we go term by term. Okay, second term is here. Good thing about having this Einstein notation, um, we can just do the differentiation pretty easily. Okay, partial omega. So we don't have to do for so many terms. This is re pretty repetitive. Xi plus u ui omega partial k partial x i all right so hold on i think uh did something a little wrong there yes this thing should have a bracket and where's my bracket uh, it's missing okay careless mistake over there uh, no problem we got it we got it it's all cool, it's all cool. And then I'll have a k omega here. All right. So now, uh, yeah, we, we got this part down. Now next thing is, of course, I'll have this down. I will have this term becoming this term, divide by the velocity, of course, because there's no velocity there. And um, yeah, we can substitute this all all of this uh, back in. All right, so uh, this one will go here. This one will go here. Okay, so this one's the second term, which is this. So let me highlight them so that uh, it's not so confusing. Which term is which? Oh boy, oh boy, wrong one. Okay, let me try again. Highlight and highlight. And just maybe I won't highlight that one. So I'll just highlight this one then. Okay, uh, this one will go here. Okay, I will just put this here. And okay, so I will just highlight this one. Maybe I put it a green color. Okay, green is nice on the eyes. Uh, nice for the eye, so I, I, I like it. 
okay so uh, immediately we see there are some terms we kind of want to get rid of um, for example this k and we want to get rid of k because this is not supposed to be in the omega equation by and large uh, and this as well so let's let's take a look how we can uh, get rid of this okay so uh, yeah so immediately uh, I guess we can start grouping some of these like terms together because both of these have a common factor k and likewise these these two have a few common factors as well one of them is a k um, right I can just start separating things out just to tidy things up so I'll paste this here put the k and omega terms like so and these omegas will be together then I will just take the k out I'll do a factorization like so so one two okay and the omega I can also do a factorization there okay so I'll get rid of this and what do, you, what do we see here this this starts to look like our k equation on the top right so it starts to look like something over here and we can start doing something about it in a little while okay so um, and this term over here we can start separating that out as well into two terms one for the k oops say one for this one here all right plus and I'll just copy and paste that and I'll have a del by del xj so I'm basically just separating uh, both of these terms so this one is the corresponding to uh, where this this term here and this one is corresponding to this term here so we can start grouping the omega terms together because they, they look they look pretty similar right and then we can start uh, doing these k terms together too because they look very similar all right uh, yeah so shortly in a bit we, we can start getting things out we can do another round of differentiation to uh, get rid of this uh, term or this simplify it so that it looks uh, something a little more like this this uh, because inside here we only have omega so apparently we will need to do a second round of partial derivatives okay so let's do another term by term uh, this one I want to remove the highlight okay and I'll do this here okay and this one here I will do in green and this one here I will do in cyan okay so uh, yeah and let's do the next step is to get this thing out okay so I'll have k times this whole thing so this is just a product rule nothing nothing too fancy nothing too fancy there okay plus uh, partial x partial k partial xj of this term k all right so that's that's the next part we'll have this little term pop up and then we'll do it for the green term as well Okay, so all right, we'll do the same, and this is equals to one small omega outside, and then we'll have this uh, this term here, and and then we'll have the partial omega, partial x j and we'll have this 
this one here and then we'll have partial k partial x i I should have used the same indices here that's why I think it's a bit messed up uh, I hope I'm doing it right yeah the index inside outside and inside should be the same okay so since most of this use uh, I I shall just use I over there hmm but both of these use xj both of these use oh right <laughs> okay yeah looks like there's some uh, confusion there with the the terms but uh, well okay hold on hold on hmm we'll try and correct those terms in a bit okay so Okay, so um, I I copied uh, this from the website, so that should be reasonably correct. That should be correct, and I substituted as such. Um, yeah, where where things started going wrong was I think when I started doing this uh, product rule thing, I think I kind of mixed up this. Okay, so UI over here will come here. This one goes here, there's nothing wrong. Here is where the problem is. So the xj should be there. Likewise for here. And also for this one should be here. And here we should have xj 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 to getting two more indices xj well there's a few more not two more indices xj xj and i'll save my microsoft word okay so that was quite a little bit of work to do but otherwise we are more or less okay so next step Let's bring this down and we start to substitute in there. All right, so the green bit, okay, the green bits will go to the green bit. All right, so it's over here. A little bit long, but it works. Okay, so let's highlight that in green. Okay, and the cyan bit goes to the cyan bit. Okay. All right. So this one I should highlight in cyan. Okay. So and this one I should highlight in cyan as well. Okay. This one just ignore first. That's the supposed to be like the final result. Okay. So now immediately let uh, let's see. Okay. So we can start grouping some terms together. For example, this term, uh, this term at least, you can kind of group it together with this. So at least I'll make it a little more compact. This one, uh, okay, what happens with my omega? Well, my omega disappeared. <laughs> okay, so the omega needs to be pasted back in front. Okay, the omega needs to be pasted here. Oh yeah. Now we see. Okay. So that little omega is uh, lost and found. Omega is now found again. So let's let's do that. Okay. Um, right. So anyway, uh, speak. Uh, let's keep let's keep going. Uh, this this fella, this fella um, can be grouped together with this fella. Okay. So let let's just do that. I'm going to subtract this from both sides. Okay. And I'll put it in here. Okay, so I'll just get rid of this, and the next one I can get rid of is this one, which I can cut, and I'll paste it here. Okay, good. Alright, so we can try to highlight that. Uh, okay, enough highlights, I don't want to highlight anymore. 
That was just to help us to keep track of um, the terms. Okay, so this one, uh, it looks very nicely grouped. Uh, it looks a little bit like these, these terms over here. All right, sorry. These terms over here, this, uh, the convection terms and the uh, viscous transport terms. Then over here, we all have a little bit of, we have equations from the K side. So these ones, we can start to look at our old equation. We can start to look at our old equation, the K equation, to see what these uh, actually mean. So if you look at our K equation, we see these terms coming here. All right. Uh, so we can substitute all this equation uh, in, uh, in this, this part, and then we'll get some constants out. And we'll be right back, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can, yeah, we'll come back to this, uh, and then we'll continue a little bit of, yeah, our derivation. So no problem. Um, yeah, uh, it's about 20, 21 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. We'll continue our derivation from then on. Bye-bye.